Hey cute people, I'm just trying to do another video before the May curl kit gets here. I am so excited about it. I told you guys in a previous video I did not want my channel to only be about curl kit openings. So I'm trying to do a little something here, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes. You get busy and you can't do some of the things that you enjoy. But I wanted to do this video because Flavor Wear... Hi Flavor Wear, hopefully you're watching this video. She had asked me in a previous video what I do to my nails. And I wanted to explain, but I said, you know what? I'll just do a video. I don't do anything much or an awful lot. I try to be more preventative in what I do so that when I have problems, I won't have to um, do so much to get them back to being either healthy, strong, or not breaking. But you know what I'm saying? You need to get ready to be ready or stay ready to get ready. Or if you're ready, I've said it so many times, for some reason I can't get it right. Get ready to stay ready. Get ready to be ready. Anyway, if you heard it before, you know what I mean. If you haven't, I'm going to try to put it like right here of how to say it. Because for some reason I'm drawing a blank. You know I'll be 52 years old this year. But anyway, listen, Um, these are my nails. All 10 are my nails homegrown they're usually more wider than this but i think because i was just playing in um my hair and maybe having some product on my nails and then i just came out of the shower too maybe it makes it a little bit transparent i think they look a little they don't look as white as they can look but i'll try to take a picture later and insert it so that you can see what they look like when they're really all white which i really really like and i like i said i don't do an awful lot to my nails but i just try to keep them healthy i try to make sure that i stay on top of them unlike before you get a little snag or something and you don't do anything to it and it gets bigger it gets bigger then you rip the nail off me myself i cannot mm -mm cannot have nine long nails and one short nail or one broken nail they have to all be the same length recently i'm not giving you the finger i broke this nail here it you know ripped and it was not the same as the others but i decided by that time my nails had grown a pretty great length and i was going to cut it off but then i decided you know um i'm not gonna keep my nails this long anyway and I decided I'll just let it grow out a little bit because I'm going to cut my nails because this is too long for me. You know, you got to be careful when you pick up things and you're using your hands and your fingers more than anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, you use your fingers to pick up things anyway, but you're picking up things from the side and with your, your, your palm and your hand, mm -hmm. they got to go. But I do enjoy them while I'm wearing them now. But some of the things that I do, like I mentioned, nothing really... Um, outrageous but i do try to eat well and i have to say um and i'm gonna tell the truth i don't eat as well as i should so i cannot say that if you eat bad you're gonna have great nails but try to eat good and that'll definitely help with your nails your hair and definitely your skin you know that drink water um i don't drink a lot of alcoholic beverages and i do but i'm not gonna tell you how much i do drink alcoholic beverages but i'm not gonna tell you how much but i'm just saying Eating healthy will definitely give you great results, but if you don't, you still can take care of your nails. But that doesn't mean not to eat healthy. Okay, I'm rambling, but you get my point. Listen, one thing I do all the time, every week, and this here I have a video on, I have garlic in my base coat. Yes, I do. This one is old, as you can see, and this is the new one. So what I would do, I would pour this into here. Yes, and if I had used up all this and, you know, I didn't want to continue to use it, I know it looks really nasty and yucky, but that's garlic on the bottom. Then I'll just slice up a couple of um, pieces of garlic, raw garlic, and I'll put it in here. And don't use as much as I do. I always go crazy with it, but you only need a couple of pieces. I always put, like, it looks like 10 pieces in here, but you only need a couple. It will leave a smell in the bottle, but once you put it on your fingers, it does not leave a scent on your your nails at all and I use it on my fingers and also on my toes and I think that's one thing that helps keep my nails white also because when my nails are white they are really white and it's so pretty and I love them so I'm going to attribute the whiteness to that because 
like I was trying to say, basically, I don't eat as well as I should. But that's one thing I do all the time, every week. Every week, I do my nails. This week, well, today is Sunday. I'm going to do my nails. Last week, I did not do them. So since I hadn't done them, that's why I figured I'd go ahead and do the video because I wanted you to see my bare, natural nails. Okay, I'm rambling. One other thing that I keep near me, and this is what you should do too, and this is what I was trying to explain, is a nail file. Because, like I said, previous before uh, before my taking my nail care really serious and wanting to grow my nails, if I had a snag or pull or chip, I wouldn't take care of it right away. Now I do it right away because now I can just go one, two, and it's gone. You know, especially if you're doing your hair, running your hands, of course, your clothes and the snags, get your handy dandy file right away and you'll be good. Mm -hmm. Another thing I'll have to say, always keep a cuticle clipper nearby. This is mine. I don't know where I got this one from, but this is mine and I try to keep it close by so that way. Well, it has a protective shield on it. For some reason, I can't grab it off. But I try to keep it by so that when I have cuticles um, that are stick out and it can be painful, I will definitely for sure cut them off. I also have cuticle scissors, but I can't find them. So this is something you should always keep nearby you. And I always make sure that I have some nail glue. Yes, because again, if your nail rips or tears, if you take care of it when it's small and you take care of, it, cut care of it right away, then you're being preventative in your nails being, I'm going to use the word ruin because it will be if you don't take care of them. There was a nail glue I used to use the years ago. I can't remember the name of it and I loved it because it would last for almost like a whole week. Even with my... Um, Washing dishes, taking a shower, all that. This is the last one that I use. I got this from Rite Aid. Really inexpensive. And, no, oh, there's a little bit in here. It does not go a long way. I'll tell you that for sure. I have two nails. You probably can't see, but it's cracked here and then cracked there. And I try to take care of them right away. With this nail polish here, washing the dishes, if I do it every day, then... I may have to touch up maybe two or three times during the week, which I really don't care for. I just bought this one recently, so I'm going to try this one. I believe the one I used to use was by Nelly, so I'm just saying keep me some nail glue by, by. And I had these two, which I forgot I had. I got these from Deals most likely for a dollar, so I don't know how that would work. But you just have to keep some nail glue by your side. I keep a file near my bed, in my bag, and also in the bathroom. Yeah, those are places that I keep a nail file. And I just want to say, protect your nails from water. Now, when I wash dishes, I have gloves. I don't always remember to use them, but I need to. The most painful time for me with my nails right now is when I take a shower because I'm always bending this one on my right hand when I'm washing, or this one on my left hand when I'm washing. And I mean, it bends too and it hurts. Like this one is a little sore, but it didn't break, but it is sore. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So when you wash dishes, definitely wear some gloves because as you know, water softens them and it's easier for them to break and so forth and on. Now, another thing that I do I take vitamins, but this is something that I take, and I take it expressly for hair and nails. Yes, but this hair is a thousand mega micrograms. I guess it's the MC is micrograms, and it supports carbohydrate, protein, and fat metabolism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I want to just say, when it comes to biotin, do your research, but I'm going to tell you for real. When I first started using this, this is when my nails started to grow. It did. They did. But there's been times since this particular growth spurt, how call it, that I hadn't been taking a biotin and my nails were still growing. And I say that to say that they say biotin has not been proven to help with growth of hair, nails, and better skin. So if you want to use biotin, use it at your discretion. 
because they may work, they may not, but I will say for sure, do not buy anything that's over expensive. You come across somebody saying, oh, we have the magic, buy 10 pills for you, and, you know, you get 10 pills for $39.99, don't buy it. Go into Rite Aid, CVS, when they have to buy one, get one free, pick up some, and see how they work for you. I can't say I'm sold on them, but for some reason in my mind so far, I cannot stop using them. When I ran out of them, I was ready to go get some more, so maybe it's just psychological, but I can't really say that when I wasn't taking them, my, my nails were still growing and they still felt nice and they felt firm. This really is just a simple video. Like I mentioned, I don't do anything special. I think the main thing with taking care of your nails or just trying to grow out your nails is just preventing rips, tears, splits, and all that. And again, it goes back to having your handy dandy file as soon as, right? Having some nail glue so when you have a split, you can go right on the head and just glue it up. That's all you need. Yes. Oh, and don't forget, I really can tell you, I'm sold on the garlic and the nail polish. Yes, I really, really do. And I know when I did that video before, someone had mentioned that there's some products with garlic in them, like nail hardness, and I thank her for that um, tip. But I really don't read this you know, the ingredients. So I could be putting on a lot of stuff that could be killing me right now, but I have long nails. <laughs> and that's it pretty much. You don't have to do a lot. Just take care of them, paint them, polish them. It's spring, summer. There's a lot of pretty colors out now and just enjoy them. If you get a chance, go to Zoya.com. They're taking your old nail polishes. Um, so they can dispose of them properly and, you know, in a great way that won't hurt the earth. And then you can trade it for some nail polishes. I think you get 50% off. I think when I first did it before, they were just paying for the shipping and handling, I think. Now they're um, giving you half off of the nail polish. So go to Zoya.com and get some nail polishes and send them back your old bottles and let them dispose of them in an earth-friendly way. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, if you want to know, I think I mentioned this nail, this not nail, but this lip color to you guys before. This is, um, let me see here. This is NYX's The Buttercream. Am I going there right? Well, here it is. And this is Monte Carlo. I love this color. I think this color is so pretty. It's, it's a red without really knocking you over the head, but that's what it is. And I'm trying to get my hair. I don't know why it keeps looking like it just falls down it looks like i have a helmet on my head i need a haircut i really really need a haircut if you live in new york get your hair cut let me know where if you live in new york and you want to cut my hair <laughs> i'll let your girl but anyway i am out of here i have got to go and i just want to say thank you so much i know this video you know i'm not trying to be you know i'm just talking to friends about my nail care so I know it was all over the place. But if I left something out or I didn't explain something well, leave me a comment in the um, comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. If it's something that I figure I can put into a video only because it'll take a long time to answer, I'll do that. Just give me time. But I just wanted to mention that, um, well, I just wanted to say that I wanted to do this because Flavor will ask me. She's real dope people, and I just wanted to share with her what it is that I do to get my nails to look like this. They, they will not be this long for too much longer because they require upkeep, and they have got to go. So I'm going to end this video now, and I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching this channel. I thank you for all your support, your comments, your questions, your subscriptions, and liking my videos. I really, really do. If there's anything particular that you want to see from me, you want to hear from me, let me know. I'll do my best. That's all I can do. So... I'll see you in the next, and you know I want you guys all to share and spread love. Just don't say I, I, I share it and spread it. Actually, share your love and spread your love all around the world.